Hello, I'm going to show you my new improved Stupid Nonsense Spoken Sentences. And it's inspired by a lesson from Dan Schiffman and the Coding Train. Hi, please say done after providing words of each type. Please give me several adjectives. Funny, happy, joyful, green, blue, done. Please give me several singular nouns. Man, woman, boy, girl, cat, dog, monkey, fish, aquarium, truck, done. Please give me several indicative verbs. Eats, fishes, swims, jumps, done. Please give me several adverbs. Quickly, merrily, Joyfully, happily, eagerly, enthusiastically, tentatively, done. Here comes some stupid nonsense. The happy boy swim quickly. The happy woman eats joyfully. The happy cat swim merrily. The happy cat fishes tentatively. The green fish swim joyfully. The happy man fishes joyfully. The green woman swim joyfully. The funny truck jumps enthusiastically. The happy dog eats enthusiastically. The joyful cat eats enthusiastically. The happy fish fishes enthusiastically. Um, so what libraries am I using? Just jQuery. So I had an earlier version of this that used P5 and P5 Speech and P5 DOM. Um, but I found that the P5 speech, which is a pretty thin layer around the browser's uh, speech ability, um, it didn't do a whole lot for me. It was nice for getting started, but uh, I wanted to have um, access to more of the underlying um, features. So all the code is in here. It is 111 lines now. And let me turn on, uh, let's see, the structure, so you can see the structure of this file. And um, so let's go through it. These are the voices that I've identified that my, my browser's speech um, synthesis system provides. And uh, these next two lines, uh, the first uh, instantiates a uh, speech recognition object, the second um, gets the speech synthesis object and saves it in a thing called uh, speech, a variable called speech constant. And then voices is going to hold the um, voices that we find. And um, when you speak with this speech synthesis feature, you do it with utterances. And so that's what these are. Then um, this program works with four different parts of speech, adjectives, singular nouns, and so on. And as it collects the information from you, it increments this index and goes through this. Then here are arrays where we store the adjectives, nouns, verbs, and adverbs. And then here is a kind of um, encompassing array that includes those four things. And then a variable um, that's set to true. And I don't think um, this version of the program ever turns it off. This program never stops. Although I thought of adding something that says, um, have you had enough nonsense? Um, and nonsense number, this is, a, this is kind of a counter. Each time we add one of these nonsense uh, sentences, we create a unique ID so that as they get old, we can fade them out and remove them. Um, this is a convenient way to know that the speech system is ready to go and that you can call get voices to get the voices and then this calls give intro which is below and here um, the main thing it does is with Daniel's voice the voice you heard first it speaks these things um, and then when that's done it does some other things so how do we kind of chain those events together well when we're uh, done speaking, we want to call this function here. And um, you see that by setting the on 
end property of utterance, I can um, specify which uh, code is to run. And the first thing I do is say that um, don't do anything more, kind of like resetting the on end. And then um, this rec object is for the speech recognition. Where's that coming from? Up here. Okay, so we set a function to handle the end of that. And um, this only happens if you don't say anything or it otherwise times out or stops. And then continuous and interim results, those are ways um, you can, uh, Daniel, Dan Schiffman explains these pretty well, but the continuous leave kind of leaves the processing on so you can uh, keep saying words. And I do that until I say done. And then interim results, um, I haven't played with it too much, but the results come back a lot faster and they're kind of strange and there's a lot of duplication and I'm, I'm sure there are cases where you want that, but for me, I turn that off for this program. And then when the speech recognition has a result, then we have it called parse result. And then we say prompt for words. So just to kind of go through this again, we've, we've started things going, we called give intro, we said speak, and then after that speaking is done, then we prompt for words. So let's go down to prompt for words. And it says, please give me several. Um, and then it either says adjectives, singular nouns, indicative verbs, or adverbs. So it says that. And then we need to say that once it's done with that utterance, then it needs to do the following, which is to turn on the voice recognition. So uh, this version of the program doesn't try to talk and listen at the same time. That makes it difficult if you've got the speaker close to the microphone because it hears its own voice. So I don't start the recognition until the speaking is done. So when the utterance is finished, the recognition starts. Okay, so what happens next? Recognition starts, what gets called next? Well, let's go back to the to the rec and where we're setting that up. So that's here. And then here we set uh, on result. So parse result will get called as we start speaking words. Now let's find parse result. Here it is. And if we're still running and we got a result, then we get that string of words or single word and we split by spaces by a space and then we look at every word and if the word is done then we are done with that group the group being the adjectives nouns and so on and then we turn off the speech recognition and then we see if we're done if we've got all four uh, groups and if we do then we do we call prepare nonsense otherwise um, if the word is not done then we collect the word so let's kind of go in the order that this would work. Um, so we have a word, we'll collect the word. So we save the word, so words part index. So words is up here, that's this one. Part index starts at zero, so the first time words part index gets us the adjectives. So in, into the adjectives we push the word we found. And then, we add that word to the your words in here. Let me run this again. So here's your words. So we add that to your words, to, your, to the adjectives. Okay, so we've called collect word, um, and we do that until we say done, and when we say done, then we turn off the speech recognition. And um, let's see, what happens next? So how does it know to add, to go for the next um, group? Prepare nonsense. This only happens. Oh, interesting. I can't remember how that works. Parse result. Maybe when we turn off that. Ah, 
Okay. Um, before I said that the handle end was only for if you um, run out of uh, if if you run out of time or you don't say anything, that's actually not the case. Handle end also gets called when we turn off the the uh, recognition. So handle end down here now says if there's still work to do, if we're not finished with all those parts of speech, then call prompt for words. So that takes us back to prompt for words. And um, we have, uh, we've incremented the part index. Let's see where. Here. When we said done, we incremented the part index. So now back with prompt for words, we're going to say, please give me several of the next thing. And then once that's uttered, then the recognition turns on again. Okay, so that then we go through the other parts of speech. And then um, when does it stop completely? So here's the parse result again. And when we've processed all four groups, then we call prepare nonsense. Let's take a look at that. That's here. And then we remove the suggested words. Do you remember these? And um, then we show the uh, heading. So let's go look at the HTML here. So we show this. Here comes some stupid nonsense. And then we, we say this, here comes the stupid nonsense. We pull the, here comes some stupid nonsense out of this H2. <clears throat> uh, here, so this is that ID of that uh, H2, and this gets the text out of it. Okay, so then what happens? Then, after the utterance is finished, then we, um, after one second passes, we call uh, speak sentence. And I think if I remember right, this sets up the chain where every second it calls speak sentence. So let's go to speak sentence. Here it is. And if we're running, then we randomly choose one of the voices. And then we create the sentence out of uh, randomly choosing a word from the word type. And then we... Um, set the voice, we speak the sentence, and we add the sentence to the web page. And then we remove old nonsense, which is just here. And um, so we look and see if there are any, um, we look back uh, five or six, and um, we remove it by using a, a fade out over three seconds, and then remove. Um, okay, so I think that's it. That is Stupid Nonsense Spoken Sentences.